Today we're going to run Mac OS X on an Apple TV with an external USB hard drive. And this is uh, Apple TV that is uh, factory fresh, has no modifications to the operating system as you can see. We're booting up the normal Apple TV videos playing there in the background. And uh, we can take the remote control now and run our way through the menu like so. What we're going to do is we're just going to connect an external USB hard drive. This is the same hard drive that I used in the last video. It has 10.4.8 with the Semtex kernel on it. It's a 20 gig IBM. Um, and uh, it also has the boot EFI file modifications as well as Turbo's new hack which uh, changes the partition type as well as a small modification to one file that allows this drive to boot on an Apple TV. So now we're going to uh, take this drive and we're going to connect it to the Apple TV's USB port. The light on the drive is going to light up there for us. And now we're just going to reboot the Apple TV by just pulling the power plug and plugging it back in. See that the disk light is accessing like crazy. And we are booting up from the external hard drive. The only cables we have connected here are the HDMI to DVI, USB power cable, and this HDMI to DVI cable is going to the back of the Dell monitor and is the only thing connected to the Dell monitor. So here we are booting up Mac OS X, just about done. And we get an error message because this partition type has to be modified in order to work on the Apple TV. But indeed, the drive is readable. There it is, we booted off of it, OS boot. And the other uh, partitions that are on the internal drive are still available, OS boot and media just below it. So those can be modified from here if you would like to modify your Apple TV in any way. So this is how we can uh, boot OS X on the Apple TV or modify the Apple TV without opening it up. There we have it. Um, if you'd like to get more information on how this works, you can go to my website and you'll see Run OS X on your Apple TV without opening. And my URL is right there, www.markandjoe.com slash markblog. And from there you'll be able to go through to Turbo's website where you'll be able to read all the instructions on how to run 10.4.8 on your Apple TV.